Hi, Wizzy here from Afro Pacific, and this morning I'm at the Beats Market, which is in Koforidua in the eastern region of Ghana. This is the largest concentration of beads dealers all over Ghana, and you can get any variety of beads from everywhere in Africa, north, south, east, and west. At this market, there are beads dealers who travel as far as Ethiopia, Kenya, Morocco, Mauritania, uh, Tanzania, everywhere in Africa to source beads. But majority of the beads are made here in Ghana. And they are made from recycled glass and fine sand. And some to are trade beads, which are very old school beads. So from here, I will take you to one of the places where you see the raw materials used to make these beautiful beads. So after this intro, I will show you a variety of beautiful, intricate, colorful beads that are present in this market. Okay. So right now we are at Ghana's Beads Mecca. You won't believe what these gorgeous beads are made from. Very soon, I will take you to the place where the raw materials are to show you those who turn those waste glasses into these intricate beads are so clever and I really respect them. One interesting fact is that all the beautiful intricate patterns and designs you see on the beads were all hand painted one by one. That's really a lot of work. Just look at a variety. So I'm here to hand pick some beads which we will use for our special leather tags. The trinkets which goes on our baskets. And we will use some for necklaces and earrings for our personal use and give some to friends and family. See the variety. All these are handmade, individually made, and is showcasing the individual character of the clever artisans who made them. We'll go around and I'll show you a whole lot of variety. There's so many here. So this is what I was talking about. If you see here, you think it's a wasteland. No, 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 it's not. These are all glasses, broken glasses. And you can see some bottles from drinks, fruit juice, beer, wine, whiskey, whatever. This is what we call recovering, recycle, and reuse. So these are waste products being turned to something beautiful. These are what are used to make the beads so the glass will be crushed into a powdery form melted and they will add some chemicals and other stuff then the bead makers will turn these to beads so this is a very clever process it's helped to reduce waste in our world by recycling all these glasses. It, it prevents the glasses from being taken to the landfills. These are rather tend to very beautiful artwork, jewelries, and something that can be used and generates income, creates jobs, whilst keeping our environment clean and safe. Guess if these, if these glasses end up in the landfills, it will take hundreds of years before they break down. So this is a way of saving our earth and being more conservative because we have only one planet to live. These are some of the amazing results of the upcycled trash glasses. Awesome. The fine beads I'm showcasing can be worn as necklaces, bracelets, or on the waist. Most in West Africa is common to see the women 
wear beads like this around their waist and we believe it helped to keep the woman in good shape like coca-cola bottle <laughs>